new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you all right so let me catch y'all up to speed so basically what i did is i you know i split certain videos sometimes right so i put videos up here on um on youtube that I can talk about certain other clips and whatnot that I might want to put together or that I have a thought of, I happen to put on IG or maybe I might talk about some stuff on, you know, on Anchor. So basically what I did was I put together a small little clip dealing with Joe Biden and some things that he stated in 2020 and then correlated those things to, you know, stuff that he's saying now in, you know, 2021 and how things seem to be wishy-washy or backwards, different things like that. And then I also added another video just as a special prize, right? to show people a what if a potential of what could happen right if things are allowed to go too far so you know looking through the comments of course every now and again i'll get a true american that will show up and note in this clip i'm not saying anything i'm allowing the clips to speak for themselves that's what i like to do and you have a true american that wanted to leave a response such as this tom buck one stated Mr. Hito, please take your finger and point it at yourself. It was you who turned many people into switching to voting for this non-racist lover of every race and a very equal opportunity president. The world's most racist president we had was actually Obama. I mean, Obama. You was just too blind and uneducated to see cry emoji now this is when it gets to the point in time where people start getting real crazy right because nowhere in the video like i told you before i didn't even narrate the video i allowed joe biden's words to speak for himself from 2020 to 2021 and then i also further correlated those videos i think it was probably about like three videos i put together there along with another video dealing with nigeria or another you know country in africa so nowhere in there that i specifically talk about or speak about race nowhere in there did i mention anything about um obama nowhere in there did i mention anything about race but yet even though i have nothing in a sense to do with the words that are being spoken i'm still seeing somebody who's a true american bringing up race but i thought the only people that bring up race are actually racist right or at least that's what i've been told you know on my channel whenever i cover race right so let's go to my reply my response was yo bucky buck what the non plan so i said that you sound 100 percent stupid as to say i push or made people vote for biden now i know you're just saying ish just to say ish crying emoji have fun with that now mind you you'll see a little bit later on right um, this will be an individual who will state that they watch my content. Now, I can't really um, gather at this moment in time how many videos I might have uploaded to the secondary channel, but the first channel has about like 2,000 videos. And I can promise you this person didn't watch every single video. I can, I can promise you that. <laughs> I can 100% promise you that. Like I said before, a lot of people happen to say that, oh, you know, uh, I watch your content a lot. You know, I watch all your videos and da 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 But yet when you happen to quiz people on stuff, they don't know what it is that I'm referring to. Or they can't specifically point out the video or the live streams or a short or whatever it is that I've done to basically specifically talk about that point right or, or or at least what i'm bringing up so the other interesting thing is the fact that i've stated to people even on ig um i think in at least a few videos dealing with this that i've said that i have no dog in this race that i'm not voting for anybody because at the end of the day the electoral colleges are the ones that basically are in control and they'll tell you who is the president who is not and i kid you not after what happened in january the electoral colleges basically was like yo the world the United States, we're going to put a we're, we're going to put a stop to this. We're going to let you know who the president is right now. It's Joe Biden. And then it was like everything just like ceased. <laughs> I'm like everything ceased. So I'm like so all the all, all that had to happen was that the electoral colleges 
had to come out and tell people that yo um joe biden is the president and everybody act like they had common sense now wow so you know like i said before but this is an individual who's telling me that i in a sense forced people I, i'm not sure how many people he really thinks that you know i i, I told to do this I, i'm not sure what type of influence and power he's really saying that i have because um i, I don't really see it at this moment in time but hey you know what i will sit up there and take a compliment if you really think that i'm that powerful and i'm that influential so be it I, I i will be whatever it is that you want me to be if you feel that i am a god i will be your god praise me <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking but you know what i'm saying is this is 100 stupid at the end of the day but let's continue on tom buck one later stated Mr. Hito, there is good and bad in every race, a.k.a. I don't see color. I just see bad people. I've been watching you for a very long time. Really, I haven't, but I have to lie in order to make this a point to stand on. Wink, wink. Your main agenda is to show how wonderful your race is and how unjust you have been treated just by your skin color because you're a racist but at the same time blm you support sold you all out just like lewis just like waters and the rest of the ones who got a soft chair and bags of money sorry he told i am not as stupid as you are thinking i am sir for all intents and purposes, I'm, I'm just letting people know this is what it looks like when a grown man is looking for a father figure. Um, when he can't exactly, you know, lead or think for themselves, they tend to follow others. And then in order to have a foundation to stand on, they then want to challenge a man that they feel is in a sense in the same lane or better than them. This is exactly why he decided to come to me with this nonsense. He didn't want to come to one of uh, his peers who look exactly like him who might even have the exact same stance that I have when it comes to certain things, right? He decided to come to me, a black man, the first of the first, right? I didn't call for him. I didn't ask for him. I don't even realistically know who specifically he is, but yet he decided to make himself known and to at me because he is looking for his father. So as a father, what I have told him before is the fact that yes, I am sitting up there talking about how wonderful black people are how lovely black people are how intelligent uh black people are and you know the 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 amount of gifts you know black people have and the black excellence black people have yes i do talk about that talk about how beautiful black women are you right i surely do i 100 percent do and for that to in a sense be marked as somewhat of an issue to try to further make your point because you're saying that you don't see color but yet i do which you're trying to in a sense call me racist because my viewpoint is different from yours like i said before is completely stupid because like i said before the the semantics and shit that you're trying to play here it might just so happen to work on other people you might seem smart in front of a few dummies but like i said before you came to your father this is why you put at seji hito you didn't at anybody else you could have went anywhere else in the world to have this conversation but you came right here to me and that puts a smile on my face so then you continued on and you wanted to uh basically start talking about blm and saying how i supported them you are 100 correct earlier on I did support them. I supported the message of the words, Black Lives Matter, which is very much true. But to a lot of the true Americans out here, when you decide to see those words, you decide to read it as only Black Lives Matter. Whenever Black people happen to come up with a certain type of slogan or terminology, you guys either want to deem it as racist or bigoted, or you want to counter those words with your own so when we say you know black lives matter you want to say all lives matter as if you actually generally care about all lives which you all know is false let's just look at the history of the extinction that took place matter of fact i don't even want to say if if, if, if everything was reversed right and 
man lived with dinosaurs right let's just put that into context realistically the only reason that the dinosaurs would have went extinct would have been because of you let's just be honest it wouldn't have been an asteroid it wouldn't have been some type of disease that would have came out it would have been you because you would have killed off every single one for whatever purpose that you have because that's exactly what you do but yet you got the nerve to sit up there and try to point you know the finger at me as if i'm doing something i guess from what you're trying to say to cause a further uh division and friction in america which has never been there since during the time of obama right because that's what y'all like to say because at the same time y'all want to say like oh look i'm not racist because i voted for obama but oh look the most racist president that was ever here was actually obama but yet you said you voted for him or you agree like i said before whatever I'm, I'm pretty sure you might have been on obamacare as a matter of fact too i'm pretty sure statistically speaking that more than likely you're on government assistance or the greater majority of your family is on some type of government assistance absorbing money that doesn't even belong to you 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 might be a part of some type of racketeering or fraudulent club that's you know bouncing checks making fraudulent cash you know doing all of the the normal true american things like you know living an american dream right and the other most interesting thing is the fact that i've also listed things about obama i've also listed things about the 45 i've also listed things about biden i've also talked about the rest of the presidents who have specifically not done anything for the black community but only been detrimental to the black community i've also talked about a multitude of things that are going on with the government i've also talked about a multitude of things that are happening and going on with kids i've also talked about a, a lot of things that's happening with women in general I, like i said before i've touched on a variety of topics but yet whenever you happen to hear a true american that happens to say like oh yeah i watch your content i do this i do that and then you read specifically what it is that they're saying you can clearly let them talk and let them hang themselves you can clearly see by their own words that they're using that they never really actually looked at your content that they only specifically pick and chose what content that they wanted to see because i can tell you because i can look at the numbers of my videos and i can ask a couple of questions and i'm pretty sure that if i were to quiz this person he wouldn't know what videos i'm even talking about he wouldn't even know but like i said before this is where we are at this moment in time this is what happens when you know you have certain men out here who are unsure about themselves and they need a father figure in their lives so they come to me like i said i have no issue with that if if you need you know some type of pointers if you need somebody to put you in a certain type of direction you've actually come to the right place no problem with that i'm glad that you know you're humble enough to realize that at the age that you are at this moment in time which more than likely you're 25 going on 46 that you know you obviously need a positive male role model who is pretty much sure in the fact of who specifically that they are unlike yourself which it looks like your background picture you're in motel 8 just lying in the bed barely making it struggling but yet you're trying to check me on something that you feel that you can actually check me on i guess <laughs> but while you continue on with that make sure to watch the dragons and everything else that you let loose on the world and, and you better make sure to guard your home and make sure that those dragons that you release that you specifically set out on different communities villages and towns don't basically come right back to your doorstep because every animal that is born in a certain place they acknowledge and they know where home is so just remember that all of the police all of the military personnel and stuff that you basically happen to use on everybody else just remember that those same exact people will come back home and they know where home is and because they've been brainwashed and, and warped that when they see you as what you used to be which was apparent they're going to end up seeing you and treating you as basically the enemy because that's what you trained them to do and remember, you didn't implant an off switch. So this is going to consistently stay on. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.